I'm hosting you. This is gonna be my first Airbnb hosting. You guys have been asking me, my black American sister, African American sister, Kenyan in diaspora, like you, K tribe in a whole. You've been asking me, like, you want to experience the village lifestyle. So I'm hosting you. So you're gonna have two options. You're gonna be saying, it's your choice, but you're gonna be staying either in the main house, Galilisha, either in the main house or the other house if you want to be like really really private so today i'm gonna show you the i can subscribe hello k tribe welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kemto bear and i'm in in the village called bojaikoma in kisi this is my ancestral home so many of you have gotten comments and email requesting if i can do an airbnb like hosting you guys in my village for the village farm experience so guys i'm open i have an airbnb it will be down below of my village farm and this is the surrounding the neighborhood you can see it's the land this is the land of hills so for a price of ten dollars a night you are welcome to stay with us <laughs> We are going to host you like we're going to provide you with a bed, uh, bed and breakfast and also food. I hope you enjoy and you'll see like you'll get the cultural experience of the African village. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now let me give you a tour of where you're going to be staying. this is the sitting room it's clean let me show you from the other side so this is the other side it's clean and clean and clean you see that next day is gonna be my first airbnb hosting so today i'm gonna show you the the house how it looks and all the links will be on the description box below airbnb link will be down below so if you want to stay in the village in my village for the african village experience just book it down below so come i show you the views <laughs> village you don't have the facilities the urban facilities but at least we have the water tank here so that's gonna be an experience in itself you're gonna be going to fetch water all those things if you want it's gonna be on the package of the experience and every time you you book you book a night you book with me i'm gonna be hosting you me specifically i'm gonna be coming with you also and host you here so before we enter into the house please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you like this kind of videos is a farm village farm house tour so you get 
get this all for yourself. So this is the living room. Okay. The living room, the living space, there is no TV here. There is also electricity. There is electricity here, so you can charge your phone and your devices. So when you come here, this is the smaller version, so you will get this house for your own self. There is a kitchen here, but it's not in use. Yeah, the kitchen here is not in use because you're gonna be uh, eating the main house, all like the traditional food everything traditional this is the village life experience please don't expect anything like urban <laughs> yes don't expect anything urban so when you come here this room is private it's uh it's out of bond it's the master bedroom but it's out of bond so this is the how do you say it's the bathroom it's a bathroom and a toilet so when it's only night time, you'll be able to poo and pee. There's nothing. There's no problem. Also, you can bathe here. Here, there's no showers because water is, uh, is not a common thing. So you put your water here from the main tank that I've shown you there. You put your water there and then you bathe with this basin and uh, I don't know how you call this. So after there you come, this is where you're gonna be sleeping. It's the it's a it's the it's a bedroom, it's just simple. It only has one bed. Yes, this is my first time. I know also me <clears throat> I like when I'm sleeping in a hair bnb to have like white sheets, what white comforter, everything white. So I'm gonna upgrade it before I host my first guest. This is all gonna be all the nini is gonna be white. I'm gonna like invest in new duvet. So the only reason why we have colored <laughs> beddings is because here it's the rural areas. So mud is really mud, as you can see. It's, there's no cement anywhere. So we we'll, don't worry. We're gonna change everything. The bed is high density. The mattress is really high density so don't worry about anything so on the window you can see the main house so you have every privacy that you you require mm. and uh, the village experience bookers as i've told you before i'll take bookings from airbnb i think airbnb is uh worldwide so it will be on the link down below to experience everything if you want to know all the experiences you're gonna experience in this airbnb check all my farm life series that's everything that's all the activities you're going to be doing here and anything that you request you add it will be on the link here so booking per night is ten dollars so that you can like maintain this house uh, yeah, so it's gonna be full bed full Accommodation you're gonna be eating also here. My mother's gonna be cooking. I'm gonna be cooking So yeah, if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any other questions, please comment down below questions down below if i didn't if you didn't feel like i answer anything please just comment down below you'll have if you because i know people really respect i've gone through airbnbs a lot i know people really respect their privacy my father inherited the land from his father and his father from my grandfather now and my grandfather inherited this land from his great grand great grandfather like it's a lineage like this land is a community like we are all relatives here and i know many of you like i've done my research about african americans and i first met my african american last year usually i usually saw them only on on the movies or television so i really never 
got to know like our uh, African American. I only saw them and I love their culture, like how they express themselves. I really, uh, ever since I grew, I came to the relation. I was like, why are these people? I usually ask me, mom, why are these people? Why do these people look like us? Like but they have long hair or things like that but they're speaking like different languages like their english is more affluent another thing please don't criticize my english english is not my first language i speak three languages I speak swahili my mother tongue my tribe's language and english okay i'm trying to be like really communicate i don't know like as long as you can grasp what i'm saying that's good i ever since i met the african-american and she expressed fatin hi if you're watching so i met fatin and she expressed like uh, i got to know the real the real, real african-american through like what her like i'm open-minded i know like all your struggles i know like they i've heard about the year of the return to ghana last year that's why I'm also planning to go to Ghana this December 2020 if this pandemic will let us. That's the plan. Ever since I had the year of the return, I my friend Judy, Judy Ann Heinz, she also has a YouTube channel. She's a Jamaican. So she, I missed out the opportunity last year. That's how I knew about year of return through Judy. So we are planning to go this year crossing our fingers it happens so that I'll, I'll get to meet lots of you because I had like the government of Ghana has really like made the transition to repatriate do you say repatriate resettle back or repatriate the returnees yes I've seen this I've googled a few like I've watched like a few YouTube videos and I've I'm following like a few of the youtubers who are african american and return to ghana like uh, eat love and migrate i get to know her a little bit i always watch her lives to like know more about like african americans because this is really a a huge uh i can say like topic so i want to know like a lot of pan african if you're pan african if you're returning if you ever plan to come to kenya if you're planning to go to Ghana please like comment down below or you can contact also me on my email address here I'd like to know more about you I've been researching and I've been getting these comments also on my channel people saying they love my village because now I'm in my village it's the countryside of Kenya I'll try and put a map here of Kenya and exactly like the not exactly because Google be messing up of the location like I'm in Kisi it's called Kisi, so it's like six hours drive. No, it's not like it's six hours drive from Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. So when you come here, it's chill. You got to experience everything like village life, ancestral. You will get to talk to my mom. My mom is seventy five years old, so she knows a lot about. Oh, she says not no, but at least she 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 was there when. Because she was born in 1945, so I, I believe that time also they was there was they had an idea of, or they learned it from their great grandfathers about the African American the poor were sold from Africa to go to the to go the enslavement. I really am trying not to to offend anyone with this because I I, I want to talk in on top. Because I don't want really to offend anyone with maybe what I'm gonna be talking. So yeah, so I want to give like back. Uh, uh, like uh, yeah, because I remember Fatin, my Black American friend, she asked me about my tribe, how I was named, like my tribe name. Like I'm so lucky that I have an ancestral home. So many of us Africans, we take this for granted. We try to take this for granted. We're always like running to the city to. Uh, to get a better life most of us also run away from our countries to go abroad to get a better life and I just I'm open-minded like I got to know why like people want to come to because the first time I had like uh, like African Americans want come back want to come back to Africa I was like um I was like I was shocked like 
I thought like Africa had nothing to offer. I don't know why I used to think like that, but you'll understand because when you come here, I'll also tell you about my experiences as an African, as a Kenyan living, being born and bred here, um, my experiences and why many, like, I'll let you understand like our way of living also. We are like more like, we've started like really being, modernized but we still remember our tribe because they also called like I'm Kemunto. The name of this channel is Kemunto. Bear Bear is a, just a nickname, a sweet nickname but Kemunto is my ancestral middle name. Like that's my name. <laughs> like that's my official middle name. I got it from I was named after my <clears throat> my mom said I was named after my cousin also her mom was called Kemunto and Kemunto basically means I asked her this and she basically explained that it's um people it means people gathering and meeting over at the river yeah so you get yeah I hope I've understand everything so yeah so guys I'm so willing and looking forward to host you guys some of you have already like you guys have uh, the ones some of you African Americans are the ones who've um contacted me and I got this idea. I've been here being being like almost five years now and I want uh yeah I'll make this work. So anything if you feel um please do know that you won't feel like um you'll feel like a community here. So don't worry I'll be here hosting you to make you comfortable on your first night, second night uh, yeah, so I hope you like this video and um, you're welcome here. My mother, I told also my mother about this idea and she, she likes hosting people and yeah, she she really does like hosting people and we can get along and you can become like we can become your African family and yes. <laughs> I wanted to say something else also about the facilities and utilities you can see that we have no shower we have no, like no pipe water we have we have electricity that's a plus but please be or be aware that electricity is come and go but um because of like when they stand up because this region of the countryside is the fertile region so there's a lot of rain you experience a lot of rain so when it's raining they'll like cut off the lights just to nini so when you're coming here i can advise you to come with a power bank uh yeah like even three power banks just to be so that you can charge them when the electricity is gone you can charge your your things also on my youtuber you can see so i like i'll make you i'll make this work i want you to experience to experience this um kinship like this uh, yeah, I want you to experience it. You can ask a lot of questions. People are friendly here and yeah so, uh, Yeah, so another thing I want to say it's uh, It's not easy here What I mean by not being easy is you you'll have to love this village life experience to to get used to this and if you are an African American or American or you are just used to the city life, I will I advise you try living in a rural area or just watch my videos to get the feeling of the experience you're gonna get here. You can also see like how I shower here so you can click somewhere here and you see like what facilities we have to offer. You also have to know that the utilities we have no like sewer, that's why we have like a pit latrine because we don't have we don't have siwa and I just hope you will get you'll be able to find this like a home and me as your sister yes I think I've talked so much but I wanted to explain to you this so I'll again find the Airbnb down below we'll put the pictures there but I believe videos are more more they show the real thing more than pictures you know okay yeah I've talked too much bye